what a terrific performance by the sophomore here today. Haley Jones, 17 points, including a big and one at the end, which ended up being the difference as we send things over to Holly Rowe. Well, uh, congratulations to the Stanford Cardinal. This was a terrific game right down to the last second. Here to uh, do our interview with this is our most outstanding player, Haley Jones. Yeah! You seem so comfortable out here. People forget this is your first NCAA tournament. Why are you so big in these moments when, when they need you the most? Um, I just owe it all to my teammates. They have confidence in me, um, even when I don't have confidence in myself. So coming down the stretch, I saw in their eyes, um, they needed me to come out big, and I did, thankfully. Um, but I just owe it all to them. This team is so close, and I'm just so happy to be there with this type of squad. Take us inside those timeouts. You guys have a timeout. There's just a few seconds left. How were you guys able to really come together in those moments and communicate what was necessary? Um, yeah, we just knew, I mean, we had like 15 seconds left in the entire season, so we couldn't leave anything that we would have regrets with at the end of the day. So we left it all on the floor. Um, we gave what we had, we talked, we communicated, and it was just a team effort, just communication, and we just showed how, heart, how much heart we have, how much passion we have, and how much grit we have as a team. You guys had to have grit to get through this season. How you to describe the most difficult times you went through and how you fought through them? Yeah, we just had strength in each other. Um, we spent a lot of time together. Sometimes you don't want to be around each other, so we really got to know each other probably more than we ever would. Um, so, I mean, we just learned what people like to do, and you, we just grew so much in each other because during the hard times, there's nowhere else to turn except each other. So we just found strength in one another, and, I mean, this was the goal all along, so it's surreal to be here right now. All right, an 87-day road trip ends in a national championship. Was it worth it? Oh, it was 100% worth it. Yes, 100%. <laughs> and now to present our trophy to Stanford is Nina Davis, the chair of the Women's NCAA <laughs> Committee. Thanks, Holly. Oh, key. It's taken us two years to get here to this point, and we are finally here crowning a national champion and raising a trophy. It's been a historic season unlike any other, and I'd like to thank all of the student athletes and coaches who worked so hard and sacrificed so much to get us here to this point. Thank you. On behalf of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Committee, I'd like to offer heartfelt congratulations to the 2021 Women's Basketball National Champion, Stanford University. Ladies, I think you're allowed to pick up the trophy. This is for you. Kiana, you got it. Well, Stanford gathering with their championship trophy, the first title for the Stanford Cardinals since 1992. Championship game losses in 2008 and 2010 for Tara Vanderveer's team. But what a season from this group who showed incredible resilience all season long, displaced from their home for more than 60 days. This is a team that just played six true home games all season long and they also showed the kind of malleability that's needed at this time of year winning different games in different ways against different styles tonight another one of those kind of games rebecca where they had to get gritty and just find a way to hang on against an Arizona team that did not want to die. Yeah, grit and toughness was absolutely what got Stanford through this. You know, they've played such pretty basketball all season long and throughout the tournament, and it wasn't as pretty today at times because of the Arizona defense, but they did a great job of making the plays when they needed to, a nice balanced attack, and Haley Jones just coming through for them again. Have you ever done something like this with the confetti falling? I think you Especially have back in 1995. Yeah, not quite like this, though. <laughs> It, it, Rebecca, one of the things we saw from Stanford as well, their ability to defend. And Ari McDonald, she found a way, as great scorers do, to get her points in the second half. 
but you look at the totality of the game, including that final stop, Stanford was able to make her inefficient and get the big stop when they needed to against McDonald. That's a hallmark of a Tara Vanderveer coach team, is playing scouting report defense, knowing your personnel, and especially in this matchup against a team they'd already played twice this season. They knew exactly what Arizona, Arizona wanted to do in player tendencies, and they did a phenomenal job, Stanford did, at taking away what Ari McDonald wanted to do. Get Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.